Good morning, Virgos. How are you? The time now is like it's almost 4 a.m. in the morning. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just sitting here. And I was like, let me pull some cards out for my Virgos this morning. And so um, for the most part, Virgos, you know what? Me personally, I feel as though my Virgos are going to be doing pretty good. You know what I'm saying? I feel like most of my Virgos got their head on straight. So this is going to be like a um a general reading for my Virgos this morning. Okay? Because for the most part, Virgos, um, what I could tell you is that, you know, you're going to have some people. People are looking at you, Virgo. People are watching you. And so, yeah, you got people that's going to be kind of talking about you. And for some of my Virgos, you may even have an ex who's kind of curious as to how you're living, okay? And so you got many people who are trying to observe you from the sideline because people want to know a little more about you. And you got some people who are nosy. And you got some people who are going to, like, judge you according to the material things you have. And some some people who are not aware of what's going on, yeah, people in your business. And so people from the outside are trying to figure you out. And so, um, you know, they want to know what's really going on with you. And so um, people are wondering, you know, exactly what do you have. And see, people don't understand. You know what I'm saying? People are judging you according to the materialistic things, the material objects. But they're not understanding who you are as an individual, as a person, the reason why you do things the way you do it. And so, Virgo, with this world card, right? For most of my Virgos, you're freeing yourself, okay? You're done being attached to bullshit. You're cutting all people, places, and things out. You're freeing yourself. You're getting rid of bullshit. You don't give a shit what nobody says about you, what they think. They kiss your ass, right? And then, like I said, you got this judgment card. So, yeah, you might have somebody that's hesitant that want to kind of reach out just to kind of be nosy and see what you got going on, which ain't none of their motherfucking business. So, real talk, keep their ass out there. Don't open the door to motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Because for the most part, people just want to come pulling up, knocking at your door because they want to get in your business. So, fuck that shit. Don't entertain that bullshit. You feel me? And so some people might view you as keeping secrets. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not telling everything. And ain't none of that goddamn business, so you ain't got shit to tell. Fuck me. You know? And so right now, you're the emperor. You're doing you. You're doing your own thing. You know? And so, like, you know, you're, you're kind of... You're kind of working things out, going according to plan. So most of my burglars, you're kind of learning, right? You're learning. And so, um, yeah, you got people who's looking at you, and they're trying to be you in, you know, wanting to judge you, but you don't give a fuck. And, yeah, right now you are the queen of swords. And so for some of you, you may feel a bit disconnected, you know, from the world. And for others of you, you're sitting in your power, and you can get less than a shit. And for some of you, you got the page of swords. And so some of my burgers, you're about ready to venture out there because you've been shuttered for some time. And so now you're kind of wanting to venture out. Or you could be dealing with a motherfucker who's immature and petty as hell. Okay? And then you got the ten of swords, so which just means that in the past, somebody stabbed you in the back. And you may be dealing with people that are still trying to stab you in the back. It's people trying to get in your business. And so people are mad because they see you in the spotlight and you're kind of doing your own thing. And so, yeah, people talking shit about you, but fuck them, you know. And with that eight of swords, some of you might feel as though you, you're a bit trapped and you're a bit isolated because you feel shut in right now. Well, you might be dealing with a motherfucker who you don't want to be with no goddamn more, you know. <laughs> and so you're trying to get rid of this motherfucker or well, you want to leave, okay. So, you know, pack your bags. <laughs> Plan on leaving the motherfucker. Cut them loose. And with the Seven of Swords, like I said, Virgo, you got people that want to come in and steal from you being nosy, seeing what you got. You know, some of you dealing with an ex. Ex want to come in. And this could be either whether it's a he or a she. Y'all got an ex want to be nosy as hell and come in and see what the fuck you got. 
You know, they want to get in. You might be dealing with some people that want to come in and steal from you. You know, because motherfuckers is hating. They're going to do that. They're going to do that. That's life. So fucking what? And then there's King of Pentacles. You know, it could be you sitting back on your phone, you know, looking at what you got, paying attention to the shit you're doing, worried about you. Nobody gives a fuck about nobody else. You know what I'm saying? So you could be the King of Thrones, you know. Or you may have a King of Thrones that's, you know, observing you. But for the most part, I feel like that's us with the, with the King of Pentacles, Virgos. I think that's us, you know, because Pentacles is Earth sign. So, yeah, that could be us. That could be us. You know what I'm saying? We don't give a fuck. Page of Pentacles. We're preparing for our path, getting our path straight for us, Virgos. Yes, we are. Okay. You know, so that Page of Pentacles, you're just setting up for your path, right? Just doing your thing. Five of Pentacles, some people might view you as being out in the cold because you're not fucking with them. And so you got some people who think that, you know, they might view you as being out in the cold or not having enough. But it ain't, it ain't about what the fuck you got because what you got ain't nobody goddamn business. You know what I'm saying? So if they want to be just being out in the cold, let them be just being out in the cold. You know, don't let them in. You keep other motherfuckers out in the cold. Keep them out in the cold. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that shit. Don't be letting your exes back as you crazy. Six of Pentacles. Giving and receiving with the Six of Pentacles. Be mindful who you give your shit to and who you spend your time with. You know what I'm saying? Be mindful of that bullshit. You ain't got to give everybody every goddamn thing. Stop giving motherfuckers shit, period. Cut these motherfuckers off. You know? Be mindful of where you spend your money, though. You know what I'm saying? If you are spending money on material shit, cut back a little bit. Stop spending too much. You know what I'm saying? Draw your money back a little bit. This Ace of Cups. This Ace of Cups between uh, May and June with that Ace of Cups. Your cups are going to be overflowing. You know, kind of middle of June, the middle of May. You know, like the middle of this month and toward the end. Well, I want to say, you know, between the middle and the end of this month in June, your cups are going to be overflowing. And yeah, with that um, eight of cups, yeah, you turned your back to a situation. You walked away. You're not looking back. So you're seeking new journeys. Nobody gives a shit about the past no more. So keep moving forward. You know what I'm saying? And with that five of wands, yeah, you got bitches talking shit about you. They can kiss your ass. So nobody gives a fuck. People going to talk, so let them talk. You know what I'm saying? Fuck them. That's how I see that shit. You know what I mean? Nobody cares about that shit. Let motherfuckers talk. They got something to say. Tell them to suck your dick. Real talk. Ace of Wands, you going to have plenty of job opportunities and offers coming your way. You know what I'm saying, Virgos? Just don't let offers slip through your hands. You know what I'm saying? Because for some of you, you might got people on your job that's trying to stab you in the back because they see you in the spotlight. And so you might got people that's trying to, like, set you up and shit like that. But keep going forward, you know, because right now it's getting ready to be a lot of jobs. It's getting ready to be doing a whole lot of hiring now after this shut-in and, and everybody's getting ready to reopen. So the job offers are going to be there, okay? Okay, Virgo, so keep your head up. As far as people talking shit about you, fuck them. You know what I mean? Like I said, they kiss your ass. Keep moving forward. It's all good. You know what I mean? You want to bounce back. Enjoy life. Love self. Just for the day. Love self. Love self. All right, Virgos. I'm out. And this is your reading for like the first two weeks of May going forward. Okay? Peace out.